Hi everyone, in this video series I'm going to be covering my Genshin characters, my builds and how I use them in team comps uh, for every character I own. This goes for 4 stars and 5 stars. Currently I own all the 4 stars that are available in Genshin and so I thought this is a great time to go over how I've built them. If this series helps you, please leave a like and I'm sure if you want to find any other characters that may pique your interest, please take a look on my channel and thank you very much for watching. In this video, I want to talk about Collie. She is a free character you get from doing, I believe, a certain level of the Abyss early on. I believe a lot of people overlook Collie because there are there are five star units that can easily replace her. But by far, in my opinion, one of the strongest units in the game. One of the best units, particularly if you're free to play, if you've not built her, you really need to. Again, this isn't going to be the best build, Collie. This is just how I built her on my account and what works for me. Uh, if this video helps you, please leave a like and Again, thank you very much for watching. So, uh, to get started with this one, I've always had her with the Stringless because I felt she fulfills a similar role to like what Fischl does in supporting your team uh, and applying an element. And so, the Stringless works really well here and it increases elemental skill and elemental burst damage by 30%. This is obviously because we've got a refinement of this. And I believe I can go further. Now, a different weapon you could use for, say, Collie would be, say, the Favonius. Gives, gives you a nice amount of energy recharge. Make sure she's bursting with your rotations. Uh, particularly if your set hasn't got enough energy recharge. And obviously going with that, you've got the Sacrificial. Uh, I don't really recommend that because this... This can possibly, if anything, mess up your rotations. You don't necessarily... It, it can maybe speed up one of your rotations for sure because she is quite slow and a little bit annoying if you if you miss collie's boomerang uh, it's not game over but it can it can kind of make everything a little bit messy so i would recommend this Deepwood set overall uh, there's a lot of different sets you could use like the gilded dream set uh, and I even would suspect, even though I've not seen it recommended, even this Flower of Paradise. Uh, depends what you farmed, but I would suspect most people have farmed this. And I actually haven't got many characters that can really use this set. So overall, if you've got this, uh, just use it. So you can see I've got some nice grit damage roll on that. Holy shit, I should probably give that to Nahida. Uh, I should probably give it to my Nahida. Anyway, I didn't know that. Uh, we've got crit rate, energy recharge on the flower. You can see these two aren't leveled up. This is my Sans pieces and level up 16. A lot of my supports I've been slowly increasing, uh, but most of them like here, if they're just a support, you know, I haven't, I haven't maxed them out yet. I've got the heater and other, other units I use. Uh, but again, energy recharge, defense roll, bit of, bit of EM. You could do a bit better on that one, but it's okay. What was that? That was an attack piece, dendro damage piece. Which is actually terrible. Needs to be a lot better. And we've got a crit damage piece. Uh, just just farm these domains. You see what you get. And the best of set or whatever you can make. Whether it be a Gilded Dreams. That would work very nicely. Probably be more beneficial. If you could build a... I've done attack, dendro damage and crit damage. You could build it with yeah, Elemental Mastery. You could literally just triple stack Elemental Mastery. And be done with it. That's also very effective. And possibly more powerful. Uh, if you get good substats. Probably more more definitely more powerful but i just went with this uh just due to how i'm going to use them i'll demonstrate some teams that i've used her in i'll demonstrate the main team that i, I actually currently use her in but but you want to basically just make sure you're using some form of dendro set constellations are actually in my opinion quite hard to get i've had these over time i believe we got given a free one when she came out and then she got added to the abyss pool uh so you get c1 so most people if they've played for a while should have c1 and then i actually recently got this third constellation the talents would be 666 but generally because we got that third constellation her talent is on nine uh but i just wanted to go over some team comps definitely one of the more versatile characters in the game really if there's any team comp you think she'll work well in there's a good chance she will as long as there's a trigger for the bloom mechanic uh then you'll you'll generally be fine so this you can, as you can see this is actually the main team i'm running now and i still use this i still use this a lot for my daily commissions and just for fun i really like it it's one of my i just like using ka-ching barbara works well with this kit and you say barbara can actually be a dps if she really wanted to uh, but I, t I, I will demonstrate this team, and this is going to be similar to some of the others. Uh, one of my best, uh, one of my best teams that I just demonstrated before in a previous video with Bennett. Uh, by far, one of the best teams. I got these two mixed up. That's doing my OCD, and let's fix that. There we are. That's better. Uh, 
this is by far one of the best teams I think in the game. Just for overall, this team can do everything right here. This will literally destroy just about everything in the team. As long as they're all built, obviously, they're all mainly supports, but uh, the, the power of this team is not to be not to be undermined. Wales will, will actually scoff, but honestly, this team's amazing. This team's really, really good. Uh, you can mix this up again with Sucrose. That's another really good team. Obviously, I put Kaching in there for the double electro. Uh, and then another great unit they've added is Layla. Unfortunately, Layla wouldn't work so well with this team. What I would actually recommend for someone like Layla is if you've got a DPS like a Yaka, uh, this team's really, really good. Uh, just because basically Barbara's ring goes with a Yaka, instant freezes anyone, and you've got extra freezing when you want to, say, apply Dendro. I will probably demonstrate a team like this. Uh, the other one is Dendro Traveler. So if you want to do Dendro, double Dendro, this is again a really team, good team with like Layla. Uh, again, because basically with this, uh, Barbara is going to be freezing. I don't know if Dendro Traveler is built. Let's have a look actually. If he is, I'll demonstrate this team. It's because this is pretty nice on this. Where is he? I did debuild him and then I rebuilt him again because I, I turned him into the Hydro. Turned him into Hydro Resonance and I just didn't like it. And I really liked how he was quite useful on this. Is it? I think it is. EM, Dendro, EM. Oh, there you go. I think it was an energy recharge set, though. So I think he's now on attack set. So that was different. The energy recharge set was probably better. But whatever team comes before I, before we just go and do some cooking. Um, what else on top of my head? I think that does largely cover it. She's she's very, very flexible unit uh, for what I at least wanted to talk about. Uh, see, I mean, you can stick like Zhang Ling, uh, literally any support. Even you, even do something cooked with like Candice. <laughs> you can, you can really go quite crazy with this. What would you want to do with that? Something like Yao Yao, maybe. Um, you know, utilize the Dendro side of things. Uh, but the initial teams I just showed, particularly the one with Bennett, are by far one of my favorites. And if anything, that's probably what I should open with. Because it is so good. So, and these are all supports. I appreciate that Kuki and Bennett might not be so easy to get, uh, but these units you will pick up over time. And again, you just got to use who you can. Obviously, Dendro Travel is free. I'll demonstrate that Layla team. Uh, if you haven't got Layla, you could use someone like Diana. If you haven't got Diana, oof, I don't, I don't know. You know what I mean? You can, you can utilize it. But let's go to my Inazuma spot. We can go and do that. And you can say, Tom, well, you demonstrated this team in the last video. So, what are you doing again? I don't know. Prove a point, I guess. I'll just do the first mob, I suppose. Actually, if anything, there's a better mob I can I could demonstrate a team like this with, really. But it's okay. Uh I won't. I was gonna say I should show how they was a built but it's all about Collie, innit? I'll just do this and then I'll actually talk about So you might initially use Collie and you'll be like she's terrible he's got such a long cooldown on her skills and her ultimate I don't like it. And it and it is it is annoying and it does take some time to get used to. The what you've just got to remember is basically you will get used to uh her boomerang cooldown. I mean what is it like nine seconds? It's basically a full rotation. You just need to lean into another character. Uh but the ideal thing with her boomerang, she will literally throw it straight out about body height in front of her. So if there's a slope like this it should actually go up the slope, but not high. It will go on the low end. If I demonstrate that now. So you can get targets at the top of the hill with it. And it will play Dendro. She also gets this ring. I think that's a constellation thing. So what I generally tend to do in this, to utilize... you, Because anyone that touches that boomerang is going to get Dendro applied. And that's your main source of applying Dendro of Collie. And obviously, is applying Dendro to as many characters as possible is basically the best thing to do because the more people you apply Dendro to, the more reactions you can start. 
uh, the more damage you're going to do. So uh, maybe this is a little bit biased using a Yaka, but honestly, it's it's one of her better teams um, for this sort of for this sort of gaming. Um, you could say Layla's a waste. We could put in a Nemo unit. We could put Venti. We could put Sucrose uh, in that unit instead because the freezing. The freezing from a yakka is potentially enough and you can say dpsing of a yakka am i i'm gonna do a bit and i'll swap a yakka out i think i can do a, I can do another demonstration of this i actually used to use traveler instead of instead of collie for my dendro application this team but so we got them if i went for these two i just apply dendro on the left so he's jumped in front it would have been a great time to apply all three but he's gonna come out let's see if we can get all three of them so here you go they're lined up now and like that, we've just got all three of them applied with Dendro. And I'm just going to not lean into a Yaka here. I'm just going to lean into Barbara Collie. So I kind of want to prove a point with this, right? So he's frozen. Apply Dendro, he's frozen again. Go back to Layla. Get Barbara's ring. He's frozen again. Carly, we've got two seconds. Three, two, one. Got it again. There we go. Play more doing with There we go. Basically, you can kind of DPS with Barbara with this. Uh, particularly, if you want to be utilizing her ring. But the, you need, when if you're going to do a Dendro team, and obviously unless you've got someone like Neelu who specifically like explodes the blooms, and that's a big part of her kit. She just got like an early bomb on them, which is which is awesome. I would like that character. But anyway. Uh, so otherwise, I always found for if you just want to do straight Dendro, then literally freezing them with Layla is like perfect. Uh, and then Ayaka is obviously just suits as a, as a perfect DPS uh, for this sort of team. And so it all comes together. I'm, I don't know. I'm tr maybe I'm trying to explain it too much for people to understand. I'm just trying to make it so I'm well aware most people don't understand how Dendro works. It's actually quite funny. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Whatever. I'm just going to cook. Yak is too uh, yak is too much. A yak is too much. Let's put traveler in. Like I said before, let's do that. A yak is too good. All right, let's do that. This should be more representative of what most people. Layla's really good. It's most people that argue Dion is better though. So obviously, for the mechanic I just said, this is what I'm talking about right here. Okay, go back to Layla. He's frozen again. Just go mad with Barbara, DPSing. Collie. Yeah, this this team is really good. The initial team I showed with with Kaching. Uh, I'll uh, I'll demonstrate that at the end. I'll I'll do my usual run here, and then I'll go to another little area, and we'll do that. I did the little thing with Bennett. But if this video helps you, please leave a like. I'm just covering all these sort of characters in my account and in this series. And I'm a bit, a bit annoyed that I, I guess I'm kind of over it now. But like my initial like Genshin videos haven't done well. And most people don't want me to do Genshin anymore. So it's like I'm going to do these guides and then I'm that's, that's it. I don't think I'm really going to cover much more Genshin content. And it's kind of annoying seeing who they sponsor as well. And the kind of people they sponsor for their videos. It's like, I I think in their mind, I'm basically Tectone Mark II. And they just don't want anything to do with me. So, I'm still going to play the game. But I, I won't be covering content on it. Uh, and I, I mean, if you want me to, please leave a like and I guess subscribe. But... According to my uh, my feedback, no one wants that, so I'm gonna do what I do and I'm gonna I'm gonna dip. Probably again really. I ain't just blue him. Yeah, he's dead and poor. 
You could argue Traveller is carrying this, but really Collie is a support. She can solo the Dendro, but again, this is this is more like the team. I mean, I think we did get a free Layla. In fact, I actually think we've had two free Laylas, if I if I think of it rightly. I'm on C3. Barbara's on C1. Traveller's on C5. <laughs> Really quite an effortless team though. So there we go, shotgun and bow. Just absolutely destroying. I would I basically always put like Collie's boomerang to being like a shotgun, and that's kind of what you want to think of it like. It's kind of got a short range but a high but a high sort of radius when it does go out, so you see Collie's nearly dead, but Barbara's got it recovered. Oh, I didn't, we need to double the ring. And a little bit of scuffed rotations, but uh, whatever. Please stop climbing. Man, why can't you dash off the tree? That's so silly. There's so many little things in Tower of Fantasy I'm used to, and I come back and play Genshin, and I'm just like, ugh. I just like that. I'm stuck on a tree. <laughs> like, I can't jump off of it. I just can't dash off of it, can't jump off of it. It's like, come on, man. It's, it's a little bit of quality of life features. It's like at this point they're scared to like make quality of life improvements or something. I'm gonna just try and bring I'm not gonna chase him, I'm just gonna cook here and hopefully he'll come back over. Really, really good Dendro team. I've never seen anyone really use a team like this. Uh, I've never seen a whale recommend a team like this. Uh, and I've never really understood why. Which is what's pissed me off, right? Because I've, I've put so much fucking effort into my fucking account and my channel and my team builds. And I, I've tested all of these. Like, like before I did this video, this team's probably had, like, I don't know, 20, 30 plus hours put into it before I even bothered to, to start doing videos and shit. And it's like... I don't get any views or anything. And it's like, what's the fucking point? Like, I, I try so hard with this account. I've got, like, over a thousand hours in this game. I've only got two thousand hours in this game. And then they'll just sponsor people that have never played this game, do a really mediocre video telling you, eh, it's okay. And then usually hyper-sexualizing a lot of the characters as if it's some form of joke. I'm just like, are you kidding me, man? These are the people you're sponsoring? Like, the, it always strikes me. And this is this is off topic for the video. I'm just going to go and demonstrate my Lynette team. Ching. Because this is a team I'm currently using, and again, I said you could use uh, you could use Kuki instead of Lynette, but this is a team I I wondered where to put her, and I, I decided to put her in this one. But uh, Asmund Gold, and I believe I think it was XQC or someone, it was someone like that. When mentioned, no, it was uh, oh, I don't watch him anymore. Uh, the guy with the beard, he talks like this. I can't remember. Uh, anyway, I can't remember what his name is. Um, He's popped on Twitch anyway. Uh, they both, when they mentioned Genshin, when I've seen them talk about it, they both mentioned like the the sexual side, and then, then basically that the the lewd like side of the fan service of the art and stuff. And I'll be honest, man, I've never seen any of that, and I don't want to. And being in the community, I've never been subject to seeing any of that. Even on like Hoyo Lab, I've, I've not been subject to seeing any of that. So it strikes me as what are these guys actually looking at? If that's what, if that's the impression they've seen, I think it shows the content they consume because I've been playing this for like two years now. 
And I, I haven't seen any of the characters, like, disgraced. One way to put it, I suppose. But, no, I know people get a thing out of that. And I think if I was younger, maybe. But it's always been a thing. Like, if people talk about it as, like, oh, you are you just like all the porn or something. I mean, are you serious? Are you actually serious? Never seen it. Don't want to see it. No interest. But it's just one of those things that, like, it's got a stigma with the game, and people that don't play it, that's kind of their opinion, because these bigger creators have, have said that opinion uh, to a bigger audience, and so it's become a more generalised opinion, and I don't know. I don't know if that's what my audience thinks. I imagine all the people that don't want me to play this haven't played it. whatever reason anyone that has played it knows like how much effort my account has actually taken and I think if you were to actually try and buy my account like if you were to get what I've got on this account now and just buy it outright I think it would probably cost you over over five figures to be honest and if not more, if you were just to try and swipe and get what I've got over like a two-year period, doable, but you'd have to pay a little bit. Maybe, maybe, maybe five figures quite easy. But anyway, I know I've, I ran to the bit at the end here, but I'm just kind of upset that like I wanted to cover this game and I just basically can't. And so I'm doing these guides and then that's it. So, you know, and these guides get about 100 views. That's about it. So if you do watch this, I appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to support me, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.